I am always hungry. Why? What to do? Do you feel like you are always hungry and never satisfied? Poor diet, lack of sleep, medication, illnesses, menstruation. Several reasons can explain this permanent and insatiable hunger. What to do? Tour of the causes with Caroline Seguin, behavioral dietitian nutritionist. Do you often feel hungry one? Two, hours after a meal and never feel full? Several reasons can explain this permanent and insatiable hunger. Is it related to a physical cause like an illness or a problem with the stomach? Is it bad eating? Too few? Is it related to a psychological reason? Under stress? Tour of the reasons that can explain persistent hunger with Caroline Seguin, behavioral dietitian nutritionist. Hunger or desire to eat? How to tell the difference? Difficult to distinguish a desire to eat from a real hunger. Hunger is a signal that our body sends us to warn us that we will soon have to eat, otherwise we will run out of energy. It is manifested by a feeling of hollowness and cramps in the stomach, a rumbling stomach, a tightening throat, more intense salivation, a drop in energy or even feelings of dizziness if you are really hungry. Hunger normally occurs after meals or after heavy physical exertion. The urge to eat, on the other hand, has no connection with nutritional needs. It is of psychological or emotional origin and can occur even if the body has reached its level of satiety and does not need, objectively, any additional nutrients to function. In other words, the mechanism of hunger is physiological while the desire to eat is rather psychological. Why am I gaining weight? 8 Reasons We Don't Think About Rapid, Unexplained Weight Gain What you think are good eating habits are not necessarily so. Tour of the causes that explain weight gain in women with the advice of Caroline Seguin, nutritionist dietitian. Permanent or insatiable hunger, 8 possible causes. An ulcer. A gastric ulcer can trigger feelings of hunger, especially if it is associated with stress or anxiety. You can really get that feeling of a hole in your stomach and pain, usually between 1 and 3 hours after the meal. It is then advisable to consult his general practitioner who, after diagnosis, will be able to administer treatments to control the acidity. If the drug treatment does not relieve this pain and this feeling of permanent hunger, other explorations are necessary, explains Caroline Seguin. Stomach or gastric ulcer, recognize the symptoms and treat a gastric or duodenal ulcer as a sore that forms on the inner lining of the stomach or duodenum. It typically manifests as pain in the epigastrium. Today, drug treatments allow rapid healing of the lesion. Hypoglycemia. A deficiency in blood sugar causes strokes, and a feeling of hunger which is often associated with other symptoms such as tremors, dizziness, vertigo. Indicates our interlocutor. Hypoglycemia can be linked to a food imbalance the person has not eaten for a long time, has not eaten enough or has eaten only fast sugars, but sometimes to an endocrine disease, hypothyroidism, growth hormone deficiency or adrenal hormone. Non-diabetic people who tend to have functional hypoglycemia related to, with a low glycemic index, and low in fast sugars. Splitting meals can also help reduce the risk of hypoglycemia. In any case, it is advisable to talk to your doctor. Too many fast sugars. Empty calorie meals are not nutritious enough and do not stick to the body. The person then eats in volume, but the food content of his plate is not nutritious enough fast-acting sugars and fats that are not satiating. Result, an hour or two after the meal, the blood sugar will go down and the person will be hungry, describes our interlocutor. To be more satiated, it is advisable to favor meals composed of foods rich in fiber, which are more satiating, such as starches made from whole grains, or semi-complete wholemeal pasta, wholemeal bread, wild rice, quinoa, rye, legumes, vegetables and proteins meat, fish, eggs, dairy products, and opt for suitable portions to your profile and your physical activity. For information, a woman needs 1,800 to 2,200 calories a day, broken down like this, breakfast about 650 calories, lunch 900 calories, and dinner 450 calories. A man needs 2,200 to 2,500 calories a day, broken down like this, a breakfast of about 750 calories, a lunch of 1,000 calories, and a dinner of 550 calories. Alcohol consumption. Alcohol takes up space in the stomach and gives the impression of being full. However, alcohol escapes very quickly into the blood liquids are absorbed faster than solids and the stomach finds itself empty, which leads to a feeling of hunger. It is exactly the same with sugary drinks, fruit juices or sodas which, taken during meals, have a 
lure effect and fill the stomach with sugars fast, says the dietitian. We therefore avoid drinking too much alcohol or sugary drinks during meals in favor of water. Eating too quickly. If we eat in less than 20 minutes, we do not trigger satiety hormones including ghrelin and leptin and therefore our hunger does not seem satisfied. Eating too quickly can thus disturb the feeling of hunger or satiety, explains the expert. Indeed, eating too quickly means that the brain does not have time to realize that the stomach is full and the feeling of hunger is always present, even after eating. Lack of sleep. Sleep allows the secretion of a hormone called melatonin, which helps regulate biological rhythms. And if biological rhythms are disturbed by a lack of sleep, this can affect the way we eat. We will tend to eating less or not eating the right nutrients 